in Project Mario in Stockport we tested the Mario robot in a community setting. That meant we tested it with people who are living at home and living well with dementia. Um, we've done a lot of group sessions um, firstly uh, with people with dementia, with carers, with um, staff, various NHS and uh, council staff in various settings so we've got a, a lot of, of, of feedback from that. We've also done a series of one-to-one uh, -one sessions um, with Mario and people living with dementia and uh, they've had a period of time to interact with Mario. We've seen some great interactions that they've, um, that they've had. Can you tell us what your favourite thing is that you enjoy using with Mario? Oh, music is the soul of, soul of me. Um, so music, I would, I would, I would fill it for uh, music of my age, music of the age, which is pertinent to people with dementia. I really uh, like listening to the music. I like listening to choosing which one, what, which music, and I chose the 1960s one this time, and I liked it. I liked looking at the old photographs. I think someone who's advanced dementia, I think Mario could be immensely helpful. I think it'd be very good as long as you've got capacity and it's what you want to do, which is, I love it, but it all depends on individual people, what they think of it, but I, I'd like that. I will start playing music for you now. Please touch my screen to control me. Hello, is that Tim? Hello? Hello, is that Tim? Hello Tim, I'm here just trying the Mario out. I'm the first, I'll just let you know, I'm the first person, um, what's your name? Amy. Amy says to use this, so I'm really quite yeah. pleased that we've, we've got through Bye. to you. That's alright Tim. Really good, yeah well, well done. Stella, tell me about when you visited Hopwood Hall Heavy Rock Disco with your husband Chris. Did you enjoy your stay? What was it like? It was brilliant. That sounds interesting. Yeah, it is. Oh, that's, that's amazing, that. Uh, very much Stockport. Uh, it's one of the few parts of Stockport that still remain. Um, so let's have another look at another picture, okay? Yes. You, another picture. Oh, now you've called me out. Do you know what this place yeah, is called? I think what this happens is, here? This is Cheadle Hume, I think. Now, I could be completely wrong on this, but it look, this goes under... Uh... We're coming to the end of Project Mario now. What would be your two favourite takeaways from the test? I think firstly, uh, when we got the um, My Chat function, um, available on Mario um, and one of the test users was uh, was ringing someone um, they knew through, through Mario and they were just absolutely amazing and having a good laugh and, and a banter with the other person at the other end and it was really good to see that, that what value that would bring um, in terms of companionship and from the other site was um, a lady who I would say was probably our most furthest um, furthest along with her dementia than, than many of the other test users and showing her the reminiscence. She gave us all her photos of her family and her friends that we put on there in all her holidays and her reaction was just brilliant. She was laughing and telling us who was in the photo and what happened at the photo and it really, really brought her into her own. It was absolutely lovely to see. I think the potential with a, uh, a companion robot like Mario is with the opportunity it gives people to have company. In the future, artificial intelligence, I think, will play more of a role in the types of uh, interactions. One lady um, said to me 
it'd be nice if Mario could come to the kitchen with me and maybe bring up on his screen um, an introduction of, um, a description, sorry, of how to make a, even something as simple as a cup of tea or a sandwich and, and talk um, and talk that person through that because they can often forget the basic instructions and then Mario could maybe go with them and they could together make a, make a sandwich. Um.